Hi everyone, and today I would like to teach you how to make a rose from two balloons. To make this lovely rose, you will need 2 to 60 balloons. Let's start by making the rose itself. Inflate the balloon, leaving approximately 20 centimeters of a tail. Release a bit of air and tie. We will start with the three pinch twist. So, first bubble, make it softer, because it is pinch twist, so you need to make it softer. Make it softer and twist, and then twist it around itself. Hold the knot with your index finger and a thumb, pull and twist. This is your first pinch twist. Hold it, do another bubble, make it soft. Hold the pinch twist and the long bubble and again create another pinch twist. Pull and twist. And now let's make the third pinch twist. Again, I'm squeezing it to make it softer. Creating a bubble. And pinch twist. And we've got three pinch twists. Now let's make the petals and I'll make three bubbles roughly the same size. Approximately four fingers in length, making them softer. One, same one, second, and I lock twist them. Now I'll make another one, same size, four fingers length. I'll squeeze it to make it softer and I'll twist. And here I'll do the push through or roll through technique, which is opening the two bubbles and pushing the third one in. Just like so. And it's locked. And now let's make the rose stem. I'll take the second balloon and I'll inflate it, leaving approximately two to three fingers of a tail. Release a bit of air and make a knot. Attach the stem into the base of the rose. You can just roll it over. You can remove the rest of this uh, rose. Make a knot. And remove the rest. Here we'll do two fold twists, which is one like this. Approximately two fingers length. We'll do another one. Just like this. Let's make additional two leaves. You can choose whatever you want them. I'll fold one and two. I'll press in the middle. If you want, you can bend them a bit. Just like so. And that's it. We've got a beautiful rose. And if you did this rose with me, fantastic. If not, what are you waiting for? Grab a pump and a balloon, try and enjoy. And don't forget, with just a little bit of imagination, you can do almost anything with balloons. And I'll see you in the next video.